Hey, orange one here. So we're gonna be getting into a big battle process. I think this is the biggest battle that I've ever gone into. Um, basically, I got trapped. Um, I was trying to get away from this big army. They had a couple smaller armies around them. I was able to convince one of them to join me. I guess he must really not like um, the king. And basically, now we got a slight advantage. Not a huge advantage, but definitely an advantage. And we got like about a thousand-ish troops that are going to be in this fight. Um, I think this is the border, huh? Yeah. This is where the map actually ends. Um, unfortunately, it looks like we do not have a great place to shoot them from. That's a huge shame, but we'll, we'll hold them off from here. Um, let's get the archers as far back as I can. Infantry, Infantry let's get you so that you're a little bit further down. And the others, I'll keep with me for now. We'll see have how, uh, how they approach us. I think we're gonna be able to counter their cap with our cap really nicely, because we have a huge, huge advantage in that aspect. Where I'm, I'm not too concerned about their cavalry, and then we'll be able to loop behind them really easily. Um, hello. I think I've got my own cap behind me, right? Seriously, just like looking. Seems like the AI is having a hard time. Okay, maybe I don't want to charge with my cap straight towards your army. Maybe not a good idea. Um, let's just fall back just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're fine. Just keeping an eye on the numbers as well. Yeah, we don't want to leave them up either. Are they coming towards me? Kind of. Not really. It looks like their army might be holding ground up there. Yeah, they're holding their ground. Okay, everyone. Follow me. Everyone come to me. We're gonna advance on them. Which is a shame. Because it's gonna be hard to get the high ground if we're doing that. Maybe this hill right here looks like it might be kind of a nice ridge line. Are they on that ridge over there? I think they are. Getting all strategical over here. Yeah, I think I can just about see them from here. If my archers can hit them from here. I might tell them to hold the, the ground. There's quite the army here, man. Not gonna lie. I want to get up there, though. Can I, um... Move! Tell everyone to kind of hold this ground. Infantry, follow me! I'm gonna get my horsemen and just kind of scout up just a little bit, just to see where they're at. Just to kind of get a feel. Yeah, I can get my archers right here. Troops, forward! Yeah, everyone towards me, including our infantry and our archers. Um, maybe hold on. Footman, I want you over here. Archers up here, please. I want the archers on the top. Very, very top. The top. Yeah, let's get the archers here. Infantry! And infantry, I'm just gonna keep you just behind. I think. Yeah, we should just really hit them hard with these archers. We've got more archers than they do. And I think, yeah, we're just gonna start whittling them down. Especially if I can get the cab to turn them. And if they're not advancing, then I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna fall towards them. If we're getting free shots, then we're getting free shots, you know? We've got... they've got 80 archers compared to my... yeah, 100. I've got more than them, and I'm on high ground. Pretty good. Pretty good place for us. Just kind of rain down on them. I don't know what the AI thinks it's doing, but it's not winning. Whatever it thinks it's doing. 
I think it thinks that it's got a secure spot right there, and it doesn't realize that I've just got like a huge advantage by being able to pedal on it. I keep on thinking that they're gonna move towards me, but they're not. Can I actually... Yes, I can actually sheathe my weapon. Just figured it might give me a little bit of air defense. Okay, looks like they're advancing on us now. Um... Soldiers! Follow the horse after me! Horsemen, get up here, please. And... Everyone just charge in, I think. Maybe archers... Archers don't charge in. You guys can kind of loop around here, please. Yeah, maybe fall back a little bit while our infantry's doing work. I tell archers to kind of hang out over here, I think. Oh man, there's so many people dying. This is insane. Hello. Ah. There's definitely going to be a lot of people dead on both sides. And this is all said and done. But I think we had the height advantage there. So that, that should mean that we had good kill to death ratio. I mean, it looks pretty good. But actually really good. Man, I am shocked that we managed to pull this off. We have our own kingdom and we just did a battle of like 900 something people. That was awesome. I don't know if our kingdom, how long it's gonna last though, but it's awesome. <laughs> that was super cool, I liked that. That was fun. I know, I'm like the most like not a nonchalant person like that was fun. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, the glitch. They're possessed. <laughs> okay, that has to be the la last one, right? Oh, there's a still a couple more. Yeah, we'll let the last one get away. Ooh, five influence. That's pretty good. You don't see that too often. Um, I'm gonna let you go. The wolfskins like me, man. They really like me. Yeah, I would expect I, I got a lot of business there. That was the biggest battle I've done in a while. Like, with the sorry we were getting into skirmishes like that fairly often, but we just beat in a massed Vlandian standing army. Nope. Um, no, do not get rid of the prisoners. Oh man, we gotta get rid of a lot of them. Okay, get rid of all these guys then. Anything that we can't recruit, definitely get rid of that. Oh, actually, hold on, now we're... I'm gonna get rid of the ones that I can't recruit entirely and take ones that I could recruit. How are we doing there? Four more. And we'll go with like you. Okay. Man, that was insane. And that was a third of the episode, by the way. Right there. Oh, good thing Pericles isn't involved. Uh, Ingather, aren't you... Ingather, aren't you one of the people that I've been looking for? Yes, you are. Uh, you don't like me very much, though. I don't think that I'm going to be able to get that dude to join up with me. I mean, I can try, but I'm pretty sure that he hates me. Oh my guts. <laughs> I know we said that we were gonna try and find people who like me, but if that guy hates um, the king, maybe, just maybe, we can we can convince him to join us. Uh, or Peric. I'm just not sure how I'm gonna pin Peric. I could try and get you to go to those hills, I suppose. I do feel like we should be just pushing the Azari lords that like I said, I might do that a little bit. I had to do that in between episodes, though, so I'm, I don't know. I'll have to take a break or something. Oh, I think that dude was the one from the previous battle. One of our uh, prisoners. Uh-oh. 
Um, somebody just got taken prisoner. Yeah, this is too fast for me. Oh, Abcomer. Oh, did I get that from the Lord? Hold on. Kingdom. Yeah. These guys right here, um, they seem to like me. Uh, so, Fen Peric. Uh, how does Fen Peric feel about me? I don't know how they feel about me. I'm gonna give them a little support. Yeah, they don't really like me. They're gonna probably leave pretty soon. That's not good. Um, oh, what's this? I might be able to uh, crush you. Can I capture him or them? I'm not really sure. I think I can. I think that I'm out actually faster than them. So if I can catch that army of 200, then I'm going to go for it. I think he actually might be someone that I could convince to join me as well. I'm not sure about that, though. Can I go here and get some recruits at the very least? We can get some recruits. Um, yeah. If I can get you... Oh man, that's not what I wanted. There's actually quite a few of them here. Um, are you gonna join up with the other army? Just kind of curious if... No, it does not look like you will. Uh, can I cut you off? Yeah, I can. So you are running from my army. You have your own little army here. I think if I can get to you without you getting reinforcements, I can take you out. And that guy, uh, is being annoying. Okay, we'll try and... Wait, what? You. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, you just... Whatever. <laughs> that was very strange. Oh no, are we gonna be bugged out now? Uh, we're gonna be bugged out. I don't know what to do. Um... I'd like him to join my army. There's not really much that I can do. I hate when this bug happens. I can't believe you left and then you joined right back up. Super annoying. Um, I'm going to try and get us back to this point. Give me a minute. Okay. So I tried to get this guy to join me. He does not seem to want to join me. He and I are not on great uh, terms and he literally wanted me to give him everything I own for him to join our, our faction. <laughs> That's not going to happen, man. Um, so we're going to we're gonna do kind of like what we've been doing and we're going to... Actually, they've only got seven archers. Follow me! Everyone follow me. We're going to be a little cheesy if we need to be. Are they on? They're not on this hill. They're past the hill. That's like a hundred or so away from me, right? Yeah. It's like a hundred or so. Wow, I'm getting a measurement of the uh, distances in the game. Jeez. Um, they're kind of pulling back. Are they trying to get like a high point or something? I don't know what they're going for. But I'm interested. Oh, also, we didn't do as well this time in the big battle, but I figured I'm not going to play it a third time. So just kind of going for it um and seeing how things go Forward! see i'm gonna have our archers be on this bridge i think right here um let's see Get back to Bowman! Move! Footman! Footman. and why don't you guys come towards me After me the cavalry We'll see how this goes. I think our archers can hit them from here. Yeah, they can. If we can hit them from here, then we're we're gonna do real good. Um, let's see. Footman, follow me. Why don't I have the footman come with me, and we're gonna take you guys over here so that you got the high ground at the very least, and then have you kind of loop around over here. 
so that the infantry, when they do engage, they engage from the high ground. I don't know how much they're gonna really need to engage, though. Everyone get in there. I think, honestly, I kind of messed that up. But it's not gonna be too bad. <laughs> I didn't think I was actually gonna get that guy. Oh my gosh, I did not mess that up. That was beautiful. That was like flawless right there. Oh my gosh, how many people did we lose? They had like a third of us, and I think we lost like four or five people. That was crazy. Nice. Well, um, yay. Good job, team. It's a shame that fighting with people don't doesn't make them like you more and want to join you, because um, I think my companions, the people in my army, would probably join me if they could. Or would probably have really great relations if um if that was the thing built into the game. I think that um Oh, uh the borrowed troops uh sent the troops back. Nice. Okay. Um I think some of our troops are in a castle somewhere, but whatever. I will I will take it. Uh also this bump up this cohesion. Oh, something weird happened there with the USB. Uh, that's that just that quest telling me that we're done with that. Yeah, I I think that we unfortunately I've kind of got myself kind of stuck out here. We have like such a a force where it's like I feel like we should keep on attacking. But I'm not really sure if that's the best idea. Um I think I'm just going to keep on, though, doing this. Because this has seemed, has shown me to be an effective way to keep them suppressed. Because, like, we just beat them in an open, open field battle, you know? Like a nation against me. And we just beat them pretty badly, too. Like, I don't know, like, the one that you guys saw was better than what I just did. But, in either case... In either case, like, we're doing very, very nicely in this uh, war of ours against them. I kind of like not going and having those sorry lords help me. Kind of makes me feel a little bit more accomplished. At the same time, I feel like I'm being silly. And I might as well make some friends. Or use some of our old friendships from the nation that we've served for, like, gosh, nearly ten in-game years, you know? Oh man, we're so obliterating them. It's awesome. I do think that we are getting more experienced troops and hurting their experience as well on the other end. But if we keep on going, I think that we, we can make like the Vlandians... Did we just drift there? We totally drifted there. I think we can get the Vlandians to like cave in as a nation. Which would be super cool. I would really like that. <laughs> um, and how many recruits? Oh, that's a pretty good, pretty good amount of recruits there. Um, and then I would like to siege this castle down, but I don't think we're gonna be able to realistically. Um, oh, that guy's way too fast. There's no way we're catching you. I would go for this hideout. I think I'm gonna, yeah, this, let's take out the hideout. I think that's probably a good idea. We'll also attack probably the village, but yeah, let's go after the village first. Is that supposed to be like ruins? What is that? You know? Um, you're not gonna help them out if I attack them, are you? Oh, someone got taken prisoner. Yeah, I'm curious to see if with all the people that I've got in our kingdom if like other lords are gonna start like taking things and like raiding stuff right if i take hostile action yeah it's just me versus them we are likely to lose some people here is the one thing but um take over you guys listen to your commanders yeah we're gonna probably lose some people this is a pretty big group Especially for us to be fighting in this map. I'm not liking it. You're gonna start shooting at me any second now. If I can get maybe back here, that'd be good. Yeah, if you guys want to come over here. Um, am I cornered? 
Yeah, if they were smart, they would have some people watch that exit. But they're not. <laughs> um, that's a pretty big group of enemies, though. That is making me a little nervous. I don't want to attack them by myself. Yeah, there's gonna be some boss awesome life here. Just get in there, everybody charge. I don't know what's going on here. There's a lot of weapons dropping. But I think that the game was doing some weird pathfinding issues. Yeah. I think this must be the ruins that we could kind of see on the map. Yep. Take your shot. Oh! It is just three. Oh, I think they are. I just kind of wanted to fall back because I didn't want to go for the archer. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was not a nice way to go. That dude just literally got like stabbed in the nose. Oh man, you know what's a crazy book for like descriptions like that? Uh, there was this book that I was reading. Oh, what is it called? It's. There was this like sci fi book that I was reading, and it was all about this like shapeshifter. Um, spy, and he was like going against the culture, who was like this like AI controlled uh, civilization of people, where the robots are basically just trying to maximize your happiness, and that's like what they use to justify uh, essentially conquest of um, like a zealot nation. Um, and man, they had some really gruesome descriptions in that book like seriously like super super gnarly like there's like cannibals um who well they're not really cannibals they eat everything that you really shouldn't eat like feces and like, guts of animals and all kinds of stuff and like it's so weird it's so gross that whole chapter is so gross but basically long story short is they think they need to embrace like chaos and the disgustingness before the world is destroyed by chaos it's super weird but basically the dude in charge of them um like eats people's fingers and stuff and then like his worshippers like eat his like feces it's beyond gross it's it is one of the grossest things i've ever read um, but it's actually a pretty good sci-fi book, but it's just like, it's such a weird thing that they have in that. Let's go take out this leader. We'll restore our name with the locals by taking out some bandits. You know, I've just like, killed off like, their whole village. These guys probably are like, uh, relatives of the people that have been running down. Um, sure. Oh. Man, this dude's taking some hits. There we go. One on one against this guy is easy. It's honestly gone to the point where it's like I don't want to do the thing that I did like on the first or second episode where I had my troop take him out. Because it's better for my, um, my relation to everyone else. Hey, increase by two. That's not really gonna, you know, make them forget like what I did. But it helps, right? Is this... This is the castle that I took for the Landians, and they went and lost it? Really? Ungrateful. So ungrateful. Oh my gosh, you got 13 troops from there? Dude. Nice. Um... I assume that there's none left for me, yeah. I... Oh, look, there's another force band there. I think we should probably do that. Um, I'm gonna go into this castle... I know that. Oh, nope, never mind. The lord of this castle does not like me. It's a shame. Um. What if I go up here? I would really like to attack that dude. I'm gonna let him get into these hills, though, so I can kind of corner him a little bit better. Yeah, you dudes are totally gonna go down. Um. I'm gonna just speed it up a little bit just so that we can get a little closer without them sneaking by me because that's that's one of my problems is I always have them sneak past me you know like I think I have them and then they get out and then you know you're done after that not really much you can do after they've snuck past you 
Um, I think there's no way out of here. So I'm just gonna chase you down at this point. And then we'll go take out those bandits. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, this is not good for you, bud. Um, oh, force people? Are you the leader? Uh, no. What army are you in? Who do you have with you? I don't understand that. Like how it says that sometimes. Oh no, there's 200 of them. Can I... Can I retreat? Hold on. Retreat, yes. If we can... Re if we can not do this fight, then we won't. There's no need to fight them with a whole village there. Backing them up. If I can separate you from the village, then I will. Can I just wait here just, just a little bit? Just so that he, he goes away from the village. Oh, uh, no, no. I'm not going to be able to fight him. God dang it. I think that we can still maybe get him. But no, it looks like he's he's gotten out. Ah, so annoying. Let's go back here just really quick then. I think that, yeah, more recruits. Yay. Oh, we actually already have like 400-ish. That's a pretty good number there. Um, not good enough though. I mean, we could actually, you know what we could do is we could call for the other lords that are in other places. It's also kind of weird because I am not getting the option to give you prisoners, which I would really like to do. Like if I could be like, yo, here's some prisoners, then that'd be great. I'm going to just give you horses. Um, maybe uh, some, some cows too. Honestly, I just want him to um, like me more and his faction to like me more. So I'm just gonna give him like a ton of my junk and that, honestly, I think is enough for them. Yay! Now they don't hate me so much. Um, I mean, he doesn't. He's not a big fan of me, still. But, you know, whatever. Our lore that's joined us, um, and has that castle there, is, it's kind of weird. The, he just, like, is kind of okay with us. Even though he isn't really. Um, Lanark Hen. I don't want to disrupt your economy. We have, like, so many people. Kind of like, why would I not, right? If I can disrupt them and make them raided, I think it's a good move. Definitely no one's going to join us willingly. Yeah, nobody is going to willingly give me troops at all, which is fine, because they'll just give it to my companions, and I'll just take prisoners. <laughs> they don't have to join me. Um, should I let the sergeants take command? Or, I mean, there are quite a few archers there. It's actually a majority archer, so it's probably a good idea to rush. You know? But I think I might just... Um, I'm gonna tell my infantry and my archers to just kind of charge in there, my horsemen to kind of come with me. Because I think we really do want to just get them in there. Where are the horses? My horses should be here with me. Okay, our infantry is serving up a nice amount of pain there. Hello, aim at me, not my friends. Yeah, everyone get in there now. I don't know why my horsemen were so far back. But that seemed to be pretty effective, right? Oh, missed him. Oh man, I did not think I was gonna get that hit. How kind of far away there. There we go. 
Oh, I did not think that was gonna hit him, let alone in the head. I was watching uh, this one show on Netflix. Um, which one call it? Was it called? It was like Alone or something like that. And like one of the dudes with an arrow got like a squirrel in the head from like super far away. It was like a perfect headshot. It was like it was one of those shots where you're just like, okay, that was like 14 on the uh, mountain blade scale. You know? It was a very, very impressive shot. Slash just lucky. You know, like at that point it's like, no, that wasn't that wasn't skill, that's just luck. <laughs> okay, come on. Lanak Hen, you guys probably are uh only three troops, really. Uh, I swear the prisoners are more worth it than anything. Um, I think that this has been about a half an hour if I add up to the previous one. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.